Hey guys, welcome to another video from Fiji Pocket Guide. Today, Robin, me and Laura, her, the team behind FijiPocketGuide.com are going to tell you everything about awesome food in Fiji. Because Fiji is an amazing, relaxing, beautiful, gorgeous country to visit, but it's also a foodie's paradise. So we're going to go over the 10 food that you absolutely have to try when visiting Fiji. I'll just invite you guys to check out the very top link in the description below for our article on 10 unique foods in Fiji you have to try. It looks exactly like this and we're basically going to be going through this article and having more of a discussion about it through this video. So if you do want to open that up on a different window or on your phone just so you can follow along with us, why not? It might make it easier and you can also get some visuals to see what we're talking about as well. Also, you have the words for the pronunciation because exactly. I am not guaranteeing any pronunciation in this video and I'm really sorry about that. But let's get started. The first thing that we're going to mention is the Lovo. Um, it's probably the most popular, the most well-known kind of Fijian food experience. Uh, it's, not really, it's not really just food, it's a food experience. So Lovo is kind of a traditional Fijian meal cooked underground. So you kind of dig underground, put some food to steam, you put some banana leaves and some ground on top of it as well, and you get everything to kind of steam a lot. It's very akin to the uh, Maori hangi, or in Tonga they have something called the umu. Um, they actually they have the same thing in Nure as well. So it's it's very it's very popular. You can find them all across the South Pacific, and it's really really good. Now usually the lovos are, are, are traditionally kept for very special occasions. So they would be for weddings or for big ceremonies. So it's quite rare to actually be able to experience them. But because it's so popular, because it's such an awesome experience, many resorts around Fiji organize that as kind of part of their weekly kind of schedule and you are able to, to experience that uh, yourself when you travel to Fiji. So if you have a chance, if it's on the roster of your resort, if it's on the roster of your homestay, if it's on your, uh, you know, any, if you have a chance to try a logo, it's really awesome and, uh, and, and it's a food experience. Sometimes you get dances as well. Yeah. There's a whole traditional kind of prayer before opening it. It's just, it's just amazing. And the food is delicious. Everything is steamed and, and, and slow juicy, cooked. slow yeah. cooked. Like it's, it's, just a, it's just a mother earth yeah. slow cooked. It has like an earthy yeah. taste as well. Yeah, like you can really tell amazing. that it's been cooking for a long time actually in the earth. Yeah. That's why they kind of call it an earth oven as well. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's absolutely fantastic and you, you've got to taste it. You, you've got to try it. Yeah. So number two on the list is... Hard to follow this one. <laughs> I know. Oh. Uh, number two on the list is Kokonda. Um, it is pronounced Kokonda because there is a silent N in the Fijian language just before that um, second... But it's spelled Kokoda, right? But spelled Kokoda, yeah. So um, this is a dish that is pretty easy to find on pretty much any starter or entree meal. Um, in any restaurant or resort around Fiji and what it is is basically raw fish that is served in coconut cream usually sort of spiced with some different sort of chilies or uh, lemon juice as well or lime juice I think either lemon or lime um, but anyway it's a really refreshing meal um, like I said it's very popular as an entree or a starter but it's also really good for lunch as well because it's super light it's um it's it's cold so it's not too like hot where well, you're like pretty warm in the middle of the day um and yeah it's an absolute must try it's usually served in either a coconut shell or in a mini tanoa bowl which a tanoa bowl is the bowl that they usually used to use to serve kava um so yeah it, it's usually a pretty good photo opportunity as well and um, sometimes it can be served with some like dried fruit or chips on the side or some toast on the side as well to dip in which is pretty nice as well yeah so that's the colors of it looks fantastic because it's kind of in this milk creamy so yeah. you just have like pastel color it just looks fantastic and it tastes even fantastic mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, Alright, so number three, it's going to be a bit more boring, but it's the local potato. 
And, and let me explain. Uh, don't, don't run away saying that I'm trying to get you to eat a boiled potato, but I am, but don't run away. Um, now, I think that part of the foodie experience is also, is, is also to try the local kind of food staple, the everyday kind of food, right? It's not all about the, the fanciest dish you can find. It's also all about what you eat every day. What's, you know, what's your food diet like? And um, they don't really eat much potatoes in, uh, in Fiji, but they replace this with the, the starch over there is cassava or taro, um, also known as daro. And um, it's, it's basically the, the local potato and it's outside to many, many different dish. And cas both cassava and taro have a slight different taste, but we put it together because they're very, very similar. Very similar yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that if you have a chance to try um, cassava chips, um, cassava, um, you know, just cassava puree, even just cassava on the side, or even when you do the Novo Nights and there are some cassava uh, vegetables which has been steamed, don't pass them out for something no more. Try them. It's, it's just very different. It's a bit more fibrous, uh, I'd yeah. say. Um, and and it's, it's just a great way to kind of explain, okay, that's what, you know, they grew up eating. You know? Yeah. And it's kind, of, it's kind of cool. You know, you grew up eating, you know, mashed potatoes and this and that, for yeah. instance. And, and they grew up eating um, cassava and taro. And, and I think it's, yeah, it, it's, it's more, it feels more like a vegetable yeah. than, than what potato feel like. Potato doesn't really feel like a vegetable, in my opinion, but it's really delicious, so it's definitely worth trying. So that's cassava and taro at number three. Yeah, and another thing I'd just like to add for that is that don't underestimate how filling they are. Do not yep. pile your plate full of them because they're either, they're, yeah, they're more filling than a potato. So even a small bit of cassava or taro can, yeah, make you pretty much done for the whole night. So they just, just bear that in mind. They just threw it behind that. We were and in, in the, you know, we were eating local food and uh, Laura was like, oh cool, that looks awesome. And she piled up her plate and she doesn't throw food away. She doesn't leave food on the side. So before she went to try different meal, she wanted to finish her plate. She never ate anything else. Like <laughs> Just a plate of <laughs> To date, she still doesn't eat. <laughs> Okay, number four on the list is Bacon Ballo. Now this is our first fusion dish of the list because Fiji does have a pretty high population of Indo-Fijians and also Fijians. So they have brought this dish together and it's, it's a pretty awesome, um, some awesome food. And um, Bacon basically means eggplant in the Hindi language. I probably didn't pronounce it right, but um, We'll, we'll, we'll get there, but this is basically stuffed eggplant and you can find this on the menu of most, a lot of restaurants and especially resort restaurants around Fiji so it's definitely something that you will get a chance to try but yeah the eggplant's usually stuffed with some nice curry and coconut cream as well um, and usually fish and I think sometimes lamb as well in there um, so yeah that's bacon ballo um, I um, want to say that if you're following with us on the uh, on the article right here, we are on number five, and number five is the Fijian roti. So um, another fusion dish. Um, there is a big uh, Indian population in Fiji, and uh, the Indian food in Fiji is absolutely fantastic. Like whatever you pick on the menu is delicious uh, when it's come like Indian food, honestly. Yeah. One time I just picked goat because I've never tried goat before. And yeah. man, that was one of the best dish I've ever had. It was so tasty. Um, so the roti, it's, uh, it's basically your Indian flatbread. Um, it's pretty popular, but pretty well known. And uh, yeah, so it's very often served uh, in, uh, as a side dish to like curry. And if you go to like some of the cheapest kind of eateries, you can actually use that as a wrap and you know, it's the thing that you can take, uh, take to go. And that's usually some of the cheapest dish you can find in Fiji. So if you are a foodie, but you're on the budget, that's usually the thing you can have like a nice roti, you know, with curry inside. You can have that like to go for like about between, uh, sometimes like down to seven Fijian dollars, which is really cheap. So yeah. Fijian roti was number five. Okay, number six is a real treat for breakfast, and this is a baba kao. Uh, probably again not pronouncing that right, but um, we've definitely had this when we've done our village stays, and uh, it's usually a common thing that you'll get if you do a homestay or you stay with a Fiji family. Um, they most likely will include uh, baba kao in the breakfast, um, which is basically Fijian fried bread. Um, so obviously pretty unhealthy but really tasty, usually really good with jam and butter and 
Oh, yeah, yeah, Friday the Midnight Butter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. Well, that's what we had it with, for instance. But, yeah, and also, yeah, obviously a side of fruit because there's fruit everywhere in Fiji. So, you know, fruit for breakfast is, a, is always a good thing and always super tasty. But, yeah, baba cow, definitely something you have to try if you get the opportunity. Yep. Number seven is cooked fish. I mean, obviously, you know, it's an island. I mean, you knew fish was coming up on the list at some point, but yeah. Um, so there's so many different species of fish, things that you would never have tried before, um, and absolutely phenomenally well cooked because that's the protein they grew up uh, cooking and eating the most. So they are experts at making some of the best fish you've ever gonna try in your life. Um, now on the side note, if you have more of a local kind of experience, uh, if you're in a village stay for example and eat with the family, be aware that pigeons don't really fillet their fish whatsoever, so be ready to fight a few bones here and there, yeah. or more than a few. Um, so yes, that's good to know, uh, so kind of prepare yourself, maybe train at home, you know, get a fish, don't fillet it and then eat it, you know, train it for your fully experience in Fiji, but um, aside from that, in most restaurants and everything, they're going to be filleted and ready to yeah. go. But that's more for the local experience. But the fish in Fiji, obviously phenomenal. I think it's a no brainer. Super fresh. Yeah, super yeah. fresh. You've got to try it. Yeah. And actually on a note about um, filleting the fish, if also if you're going to more like traditional curry houses you know, around Nandi and some of the big cities in Fiji, and um, they usually serve their curries with the bones in, for instance, like if they have a goat curry or whatever, any other type of meat, and um, they don't take the bones out. So be aware that you'll have to probably do a little bit of picking. Um, usually if you're from a western country like we do, we, um, we do, we're not used to that. So. We never see a bone. Yeah, <laughs> never we, don't, we, never, we don't even know what bones look do like. Do animals have bones? Yeah, apparently so, and you will get to eat them in Fiji. <laughs> Alright, number eight on the list is palusami, which is a pretty popular dish actually around the South Pacific Islands. Um, and this is basically a curry made with taro leaves. Um, Robin did talk a little bit about taro before, well the leaves don't go to waste and um, they are used in this dish which isn't, it isn't a curry with any spices or chilli but the taro itself actually gives a pretty rich taste so it's definitely worth trying if you get the chance um, and usually uh, the curry is topped with coconut cream or lamb chunks uh, for instance so yeah really tasty, really awesome. Nice one. Number nine is Chinese chop suey, uh, chicken chop suey even. Um, so, I'm pronouncing that wrong, obviously. Chop suey? Suey. 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 Chop suey. There you go. <laughs> Chinese chicken chop suey. <laughs> the French uh, person in me is struggling with her. Um, Alright, so around the main island of Fiji, which is the biggest one, it's called Viti Levu, there is also kind of a large Chinese population. So that's another kind of fusion kind of dish. Um, Chop, su chop suey, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've had it many times outside of Fiji. It's a pretty popular Asian dish um, and it's quite a staple of all the um, fast food areas, uh, all the fast food restaurants and fast food takeaways all around the main island. Um, it's really tangy, it's really awesome, and it's very much contrast to what else, whatever else you can find in Fiji. So if you want a bit of variety, go ahead and go for that. Yeah, all right. The last one on our list, number 10, is tropical fruit. What? Just fruit? <laughs> Just tropical fruit. Just fruit? What? Yeah, but, but, but hear me out. Okay, when you go to Fiji, one of the sort of top things you need to do is go check out the fresh produce markets. There's um, these produce markets in most of the main towns around Fiji, especially in Viti Levu, for instance. And just walking around these markets, you see a crazy array of fruit and vegetables that if you're from, you know, if you're not from the tropics, you will probably see a lot of stuff that you've never seen before. Um, and in Fiji in particular, what they have are some, uh, there's a few ones worth mentioning. mentioning. There's an alien looking sour sop, which is, um, yeah, it's really bursting with flavor. There's a nice smooth pawpaw, otherwise known as papaya. Oh, the papaya is the Fiji. Yeah, they're so good. They're, if you've ever tried them, like, you know, outside of a tropical country, they're usually not as good as when you have them. Oh, they're so sweet and yeah. juicy and just soft to the teeth, the tooth as well. Like, yeah. Like, they're really just... They just slither. Yeah, like, oh. Slither into your mouth. Fair. Fair. <laughs> and um, another another type of fruit is a longan, which is kind of like a jelly-type fruit. 
route um, definitely worth looking out for as well but even sort of your staple tropical fruit like bananas and pineapples there's just like so many different varieties of bananas and the pineapples are sweeter than anything you if you're not from a tropical co country yeah. you never actually tasted what a pineapple or what banana really tastes like yeah. when they just come down from the fruit from the tree um different taste absolutely completely yeah. different taste than any bananas you've had before it's phenomenal yeah so well maybe one last thing to mention onto the uh well it's not technically not a fruit it's a nut but it's coconut oh yeah of course because you're obviously in um in a tropical country and it's always fun to try the coconuts there usually at resorts there's coconut demonstrations where they show you all the many different uses for the coconuts it's not just for eating but you can craft loads of things out of coconut trees and the coconut husks and everything so yeah definitely worth learning about the coconut while you're in Fiji. All right so this wraps up 10 food that you absolutely have to try when you make your way to Fiji. Um, there are obviously much more foods than that and uh, if you do want to learn more about food experiences in Fiji head to FijiPocketGuide.com This is the travel website that Laura and I are working on to help you plan your awesome trip to Fiji. It's all free, there is plenty of advice so check it out and thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more coming up right there super soon. Bye bye! See you later!